so I just wanted to come on a little vacation and enjoy the beach. I love, 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 love Puerto Rico. Um, I've been here a few times. Um, it's just super easy to get to from New York. Jepu has sales all the time. Um, and it's only like about like three, three and a half hour flight. And look how pretty the beach is. Love it. The food is awesome. People are awesome. The beaches are amazing. So yeah, I just wanted to come down here um, for a few days, relax, and just live. The last few weeks have been, a lot has been happening. And I just wanted to come down here and just relax. So here I am. I have a few friends that live down here too. I uh, reached out to some of them so maybe we can like um, have drinks or dinner or something one of these days, but if not, I'm just perfectly fine to just chill by myself. So today's my first full day here. I spent most of the morning at the beach. Um, it is getting to be about lunchtime now and I am feeling kind of hungry, so I don't know, what should I eat? Okay, the noise from the wind was just way too much during this section, but I wanted to show you this rock because if you can see close up, there were all these crabs crawling around on it. Aren't they so cute? They were kind of shy and they kept getting splashed away, but I wanted to get them in my video. So cute! So for lunch that day, I went to a diner called Pinkies located on Ashford Avenue in San Juan. They have great fruit smoothies and I had their protein break plate with ham, egg whites, and toast. It's a pretty popular place, so let me know if you know about it or have ever been there and what you like when you go. Okay, so I'm gonna meet up with my friend in the end. Um, he's gonna come pick me up. I'm staying near this double tree. You guys see? I'm staying in an Airbnb near this double tree. I actually stayed at this um, double tree a few years ago when I came down with my girlfriend and it was a really nice hotel. Um, but this time I'm staying at an Airbnb and I just, we guess um, this would be the easiest place to meet. So he's gonna come pick me up and then I think we're gonna go just grab some beers. Hey, what up? Hey! We're here in the old San Juan, just hanging out. Yep. In, so his Soho weekend. Wait, what does Soho stand for? Oh, Soho is when the old restaurant and stores go out take their their, their uh, chairs, tables outside and the people can hang out, you know, outside the restaurant, drink and whatever you want to do. It's cool. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. You know, because usually when I come to old San Juan at night, it's dead. I never, I never been to Old San Juan. It was like this. Well, it's like a street party. just finished lunch and I'm at the beach again um, I have my sun hat because I felt like yesterday I was starting to get burned a little bit so I'm hoping this hat will just protect my face and my shoulders um, I love being in the Sun and at the beach but wrinkles are not okay so I'm trying to do my best to have my SPF 100 on today I'm going hardcore with the SPF because I don't want to get burned um, I'm just at the beach hanging out. For lunch on the second day, I went to a Roscoe's restaurant in San Juan. I had their chicken trifungo, which is made with mashed plantains, mashed sweet plantains, and yuca. It was all topped with a chicken stew and it was so good. The restaurant that I went to was really good and the staff was really nice, but I felt like everyone was kind of looking at me being like, 
why is this girl eating here by herself? But um, really, I love going on vacation by myself. You can just do like whatever you want, however you want, whenever you want. You don't have to like wait for people to get ready or like wait for people to do this or that or, you know, it's just more relaxing and I don't know, I just, I like going on vacation by myself. I don't think it's weird. I have my beach read. I took the cover off because I didn't want it to get ruined, but I am reading Down the Rabbit Hole by Holly Madison. I'm um, on chapter four. It's a really easy read and it's quite interesting. I really like it so far. Um, I remember watching The Girls Next Door in college. I think it was when I was in college and I loved that show and I loved her. I thought she was like the prettiest one. So I think it's really interesting um, just to hear her side of the story that, you know, was like different from the reality show side, I guess. So I recommend it. Um, I think I'll probably finish by the time I leave Puerto Rico, so it's perfect. It's just like a perfect, easy, fun beach read. And um, hopefully someone will come and take my drink order. I'm just getting back from the beach, but I wanted to stop by and pick up some snacks at the supermarket. Looking for a very specific type of chips. In the chips aisle. Oh my god. There's so many, but I don't see the kind that I want. Plantain chips. I love plantain chips. They're so good. But they don't have the brand that I want. Oh my god. Here they are. This one. This one is the best brand. Ribas, Maduros, so good. And this one, the Mofango Mix. I don't know why we don't have this in the States. Mofango Mix is bomb. It has a blend of fried yuca, plantain, and fried pork skins. So obese, but so good. Uh, I'm not gonna get all of them. I think that I'm just gonna go with the Kariba. These are my favorite. I also want to get a coconut water. Oh my god, they have so many types of coconut waters. Look. Coconut water, coconut water, coconut water. You can try like a different one every day. Should I try this one? I think it's just a supermarket brand, but it looks good. I like the ones with the pulp inside. I'm trying to find ones with like no added sugar. That's what I want. Goya coconut water with pulp. I think I'll try these too. Okay, I'm about to head out to meet a friend, but before I headed out, I just wanted to show you my Airbnb and do a little Airbnb house tour. So here is the living room. It's a tiny little Airbnb. It's really cute though, and my Airbnb host is, I think she's a performance dancer. So she's like really artsy and has like lots of artsy installments inside her apartment. Some posters, a mirror. And here's the dining room area, which I think is really cute. And then some more um, posters and pictures. This is her little kitchen, and then here is uh, my room, the guest room, which is messy right now because I've been just throwing things around for a few days now, but um, it's just a cute little room, and then here is the bathroom. So it's a cute little apartment. It's basic, but it has everything I need. Again, it's walking distance to the beach, and there's a grocery store like two blocks away. So it's perfect just for like a getaway for a few days. Let me know if you guys have ever stayed in an Airbnb and how your experience was. I've stayed at um, several different Airbnbs now, and they've all been great experiences. Um, maybe I can do a video on Airbnb if anyone's like hesitant to try it because. Um, I know it can be a little bit strange just staying in someone's house. You know if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing. But for now, I'm gonna go and- That's the thing, like you don't have to speak about any topic. It's just like, about life, about like everyday experience, about like hanging out with your friends. After drinks, we headed to Noxious Lifestyle Clothing. This is a brand that my friend helped to create, and so you'll see him wearing a cap with their logo. The brand is aimed at people who have appreciation for art, fashion, and urban lifestyle. 
They've collaborated with many different artists and musicians, including Daddy Yankee, and they were working on a logo while we were there, so the lights were turned off. Their store is located on Calle Luisa number 1917, so if you're in the San Juan area and you like art and fashion, definitely go check them out. We met up again the next day for lunch, and this was my last day in Puerto Rico, so I wanted to eat something really Puerto Rican. He took me to the Govate region, which is known for their roast pigs! We ate at La Chaneria El Mojito, and this is not the first time that I've been here, but I loved it so much the first time I wanted to go back. What is this? There's a few more ways. Oh, that looks That's good. That's great. Traditional rice with gandule. Mm. You got traditional rice is over there, and then this is what we're having right here. We are pateligos. This is... Uh, What's inside? It's, uh, it's like uh, pork. It has pork. It has uh, the pateles. That's traditional from here. And then also yuca, which is an amazing dish. This has onions and stuff. Yeah, their yuca is bomb. I remember it from the last time. This is crazy. And this is our... That's our mix up, so over there. You know what? Can we get that? Yeah. Yeah. That's like family. my favorite thing. We do it with hot sauce or you do it with ketchup? Hot or sauce. Or just hot sauce? Yeah. Definitely. That's right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. The amazingness. The amazingness. And, this. and the view. And so is it like corn? Is it made with corn on the outside? Or like oh, what? It's oh, it's plantain. Good. Okay. The meats, and then you have a bit of red pepper, and then your meats, which you can mix with the meats. Smells good. Put hot sauce on people, put ketchup. Awesome. I'm gonna try it plain for now. Yeah. It's the best way to enjoy it. Try that. That's amazing. This. Are you down with this? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like a tamale, right? But mm -hmm. like the um, just the outside is different. So like the taste and like the idea, I guess. It's great. Awesome. I love this food. And that's all for my trip. I had an awesome time and I'm already thinking about when I should go back. I will link everything from this video in the description box below. And if you like this video and you want to see more travel vlogs, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. See you guys in my next video.